Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here today to talk to you about week number two of Thursday flipping investments. On Thursday, tomorrow, we are going to be getting the second set of Division Rivals rewards and the very first set of Foot Champions rewards in FIFA 20. So I want to kind of talk about some rewards and Thursday flipping that we can do to help us make some coins. A very popular investing method over the last year of FIFA Ultimate Team and uh, it's going to continue this year as well with that being a very big time of the week where people get packs, get coins and upgrade their teams. A lot of demand for those certain cards on the market that people will be putting in teams. Now, I want to start start off first, before we look into any specific players, I just want to talk about the type of rewards and champions rewards that we're going to get this week. Now, last weekend was the first weekend for champions, and there's a lot of people I think that are in the category like me. They didn't get enough rivals points to get into, or enough foot champions points to get into that first weekend league. So I think this weekend you might not see a full slate or full you know like a full the full impact of week and league rewards because i think there's still a lot more people that have to come onto the game if you played in week and league last weekend you were probably more of a hardcore player not much of a casual because if you got the game on the um friday that the game was released the 27th you only had really a week to grind to get 2,000 week and league points which is a lot of games and as you can tell i'm not there yet i have to do that yet today to get myself up to those 2,000 weekly league points. Um, but I think a lot of people are in that boat. The people that played last weekend were the more, um, just guys that are more dedicated to the game, the pros and the more hardcore FIFA players. This weekend, you'll see a lot more of the casuals be able to get on because it takes another week for them to get enough uh, for champions points to get into the game. But that shouldn't impact division rivals rewards. People have been playing rivals. People will get good rivals rewards. The You can tell that a ton of people are playing based on the reward rankings. I'm in Division 6, I think. Haven't played a ton of games, as you can see. And I have 4,300 points. The next rank is 10,000 points, which is a very, very decent amount of points um, for rivals. I have to play a lot of games to get up to that next rank. So that makes me know that a lot of people are actually playing right now. So with the stuff that is going to be coming, I think I have some coins coming in. Boom, that was a nice flip right there, up to 273K. Um, exclamation mark sale in the chat, baby. What are we saying? Some nice profit as always. But I want to look at cards that could be very flippable for Thursday flipping this week. Last week, a lot of the stuff that we looked at definitely could have done better. Um, I'm going to be honest. Some of that stuff didn't even move at all. Some of the stuff did move. The stuff that moved last week was the very popular and very meta players in FIFA 20. Um, so I want to look at those here in a second. But first, the thing that we always look at is the team of the week prediction. I'm obviously making this video before team of the week comes out. So team of the week is probably out or almost out by the time you're watching this. So we're gonna go through this really quick, um, but this will basically show you how we can invest according to link investments to the team of the week. Uh, and also maybe some panic selling. So this team of the week prediction by Patrick Simple Blue 88 on Twitter. He has Dybala, Hazard, uh, a record breaker, Vela, He's got Bergwin, he's got Nelson Semedo at left back, David Luiz, Van Anholt, Milner, and Verratti instead of Sarabia. Um, that's a very interesting one. But then Traore down here with the right wing back card, which is interesting. Wesley, Defoe, and Adamian out of this group right here. Um, the guy that I see getting into the most teams would probably be Milner, Van Anholt, and David Luiz. Possibly, possibly Nelson Semedo and Bergwin but definitely some of these guys up here at the top. And because of that, I mean, Van Anhol is the first left back Premier League inform that we will have this year. That'll help out the left back inform or the left back market from the Prem a lot, I think. So I'm really hoping that Van Anhol gets this card. Um, but seeing these two guys right here, I see a link investment already to those two guys, a very um, middle of the road valued player that is a meta player that went up last weekend for Weekend League Rewards, and that is Genie Wijnaldum. Currently sitting around 28,000 coins, which is kind of where he was last week. Um, I think this is a solid investment this week, regardless of whether Van Aanholt or Milner get in. Obviously, he's Liverpool. He is Dutch. People like to have VVD. VVD is an expensive player in this game. Not many people are able to afford him yet. 
But if you're continuing to upgrade your team, this is the next step for you in the midfield of your Premier League team. And so many people are using Premier League and so many people are continuing to make coins and to upgrade uh, their cards that are in their team. I mean, that's what everybody is after, getting a better team to play foot at a higher level. So I really like Wijnaldum as a link investment this week. And then going back to the team of the week, I really like Brazilians as well. Brazilians last week went up some of the most because some of the Brazilians are some of the most used players. We look at Gabriel Jesus, Willian, um, Lucas, and guys maybe like Fabinho as well are some of the most used players. Felipe Anderson as well. Some of the most sought after and popular players in this game. We have a David Luiz Brazilian inform card. I think he's very likely to get one. And then this Wesley card down here as well. Um, I think he is going to get into team of the week. And that is an interesting shout for me. So I would look at Brazilians as well. Um, but what we have here, I think I'm on page two. Let me go back to page one. Again, I'm sorting by the PGP tab on Footbin. You go to the players drop down, PGP, and you are going to look into here. Gold cards are probably going to be the main way to invest again this week, um, just because that's what people can afford. Some informs probably will go up. We'll look at those at the end of this video. But I want to make sure that we focus on gold cards. So there's a couple different situations I want to talk about this week. I, I mentioned the, the meta cards, guys like Lucas, guys like Musa Sissoko. Those are the cards that went up last week. Ben Yedder, Martial, and Dombele, even though he has the objective. Rashford, Usman, um, Goretzka, Militao, Felipe Anderson. Cards like that were ones that really went up last week. If we go back here to the foot menus we look at anthony martial this is the kind of guy that a lot of people are going to want to try to get into their fifa teams what is he right now he's actually 60k man the man is up in price a lot so some prices you're seeing right now when i'm recording this are high i'm not recommending that you buy right now i'm recommending that you wait to buy until late in the night wednesday later in the day on wednesday just because then you can kind of see if ea puts out some sort of pack sbc during the day on wednesday you're not sitting there with a bunch of cards that are getting undercut because of pack supply or something that some SBC or information that makes people panic sell and get liquid. So that's why I usually invest for um, Thursday flipping on the Wednesday nights. That's the most important time that I invest. Um, but those are the types of cards I think you want to focus on, at least one of the types, and that is just the meta cards that are in packs. A guy like Martial might drop down to somewhere around... Um, maybe like 55k right before rewards he's 60k right now last week before rewards he was 65 he went up to 67 i can assure you right now that he was actually above that price on on thursday and friday at one point and then he dropped down to 56 on sunday sunday was a very very low day on the market if you invested then yes you're looking in profits already but he's from up to 56 to 60 and he was almost he was 70 at the highest point last week so I would have no problem buying at 60 to go up 10K. So I don't think it's too late to invest. If you invest in Sunday night, awesome, GG. You're just going to have to hold those players a little bit longer. Uh, whereas I wanted to use my coins to trade during the week this week and wait on uh, wait for Wednesday night to invest in a lot of this stuff. That's kind of my weekly approach for this. So the other thing that I want to mention is gold cards that had ones to watches. Lucas Hernandez, a very popular player. Ben Yedder, a very popular player. Griezmann, a very popular player. And some others fall into this category. Griezmann, or excuse me, Ben Yedder was out of packs. Arguably the most um, sought after striker in this game. 83 rated Ben Yedder. Was up at 64,000 coins out of packs on Saturday of this weekend. He dropped down uh, and is now at a very low point of 52k. The lowest that he has been basically since his card went out of packs. And that is basically because because this card is in packs again. I think this is going to be a great buy again this week as this card probably dips down into the 40K range on Wednesday. I think this is going to dip down. But again, it's one of the most OP and it's the card that everybody is using right now in foot. This Ben Yedder card with the four-star skills and the five-star weak foot. Even though he's only going to be in packs a couple days again, he could get some supply at rewards. If you're somebody who is able to be awake at rewards, could be a fantastic time to bid or snipe this Ben Yedder card. Get some in your club and watch him fly throughout the day Thursday into Friday. I think this is going to be a great investment this week. Same thing with Lucas Hernandez. 
um, especially considering Ling Lei is extinct right now at 100,000 coins. Varan is through the roof at like 250k plus. And this card is back into packs. He was 80k. Now it says he's 68,000 coins. Is that for real? Is that for real? Is he actually under 70k? He is not under 70k. That must have been an undercut. Uh, what is Lucas Hernandez? Lucas Hernandez is 75k right now on the PlayStation 4. So if you see this card price dip back under 70k, I think that's a phenomenal shout uh, because I think he, he, even though he's back in packs with those Langley and with Varan being extinct, I think you could see this card back up in the 80k range. I think that's a really solid investment for this weekend as well. But you just have to be careful with those cards because they were out of packs and now they're going to get some supply at rewards but they're still very popular and still very meta for this game so i'd be kind of careful with those but again focus on the popular guys this week one thing that i do want to mention is qualifiers are happening this weekend so if you're somebody that is looking at purchasing an icon um, specifically an icon that would be in a lot of pros teams uh, if you're somebody who's looking at buying an 86 viera there's going to be a lot of pros that are looking at buying this car this weekend I watch this card all the time just because I've, it's intriguing. Tonight, I've been on for the past three hours, and you, I've seen him sell at 1.365, 1.315, and then look at this one, 1.460 I have seen sold for this card right here. I would not be surprised if this one gets bid on at 137, but if you see this card around 1.3 million coins or under, I think that's a screaming buy for this weekend as there are some players playing qualifiers. And then some other other types of guys that you could see get some big time hype this weekend as well. Eder Militao, he's already up a lot. He's a low rated card. He's going to get hit with some supply at rewards. But Ferlin Mendy just got a price range update to 50k. And I think Ferlin Mendy is actually around that 50k range. Which is crazy that you're looking at an 80 rated card at 50, somewhere around 55, 54,000 coins for an 80 rated card. He is gonna get hit with a lot of supply at rewards, but there is so much hype around this card. People say he's the best left back in the game. So if you see him dip down, maybe like five or 6K at rewards, that could be a good time to get him because again, a lot of pros are gonna use this card for their qualifiers on the weekends because of their squad rating restrictions. He's 80 rated, Militao is 81 rated, and they play very, very well in game. A lot of people are gonna be looking at this card, pros and casuals of the like. I feel like this card's probably gonna sell at 53K. What does Ferlin Mendy sell for with a shadow? Please be like 58. Okay, he sells at 56. How much profit would I make there? That's not really worth it. If he sells at 58, it would be worth it. Um, you know what, I'm not really, you know what, 58K, let's go for it. Let's go for it, we'll make a couple K there. Of course it's expired, I thought about it too long. If I could have sold that at 58K, that would have been a decent deal. Um, but again, that's one thing to think about as well when you're buying these cards. Look for chem styles, a great way to trade. But the hype for the Militao and the Mendy is very, very high this weekend. So those are going to be good cards you could look at to invest in. This guy as well. This guy's price has been all... I've been watching this guy since the start of the game. I've enjoyed trading with him. He got a price range update tonight. He was extinct at 15K, went up to 20, uh, the price range, and he's kind of back down now at 15K. Another guy to watch at rewards because he links... Militao, um, and he gets that link to the link to Militao, who links to Mendy. So those three are kind of like a, uh, a lot of in a, in a lot of people's teams. So that's one thing to watch as well. A lot of people are going to go after that trio of players right there. Then, last thing is, I want to look at some team of the week cards for investing. We look at these every week. Some of these cards from Team of the Week three, as they're going out of packs in a few hours, are already rising a lot. Mares is up to 130. And Diddy is up 10,000 coins. I told you guys to buy this on Sunday night at 55 or low. He's already up 10K. A lot of guys are making tons of bank on him. I see him going up another 10,000 coins this weekend as a, the second best CDM in the Premier League. Havertz I see going up to probably around 180, 185, maybe hitting 190. We'll see the hype on that card. Um, and then the rest of this team of the week, Gullivan possibly going to 18, 19K. Uh, and then guys on the bench, I don't see rising super much. Maybe a Doherty, possibly a Doherty for somewhere around like 18,000 coins as well. But Team of the Week cards are always great flips for the rewards period, especially if you find a guy in a past Team of the Week 
that was somehow or some reason kind of sold off. James Madison for 20K, he's up a bit. Thurman is up a tiny bit. Alexander Arnold at 100K, I just that's a lot of coins for not so good of a card. Tiago uh, Silva at 58K isn't too bad. Um, if David Luiz gets an in for him, some diehard Brazilian fans out there, one of the most popular nationalities in foot. If you could find this card for around 50K, you can see here on the graph, if you could actually find this card for somewhere around 55K or under, I would say, that's like your ultimate range. Is he, is he under 55K right now? Is he under 60K right now? This is a pretty rare card, an 88 rated center back on foot. He's 58,000 coins at the moment. So if you can find this card or get it on bid for 55K or under, I think you could see this at 65K this weekend. A nice 10K per card. Brazilian hype. It's always there. Um, and possibly with a PSG inform, either Sarabia or Verratti or Idrissa Gay, um, that would increase the value of this Thiago Silva card as well. So again, look through the team of the weeks. If you just notice a card that is low and it's a usable card, um, for a weekend league team team of the week cards are great investments as well ones to watches i guess you could invest in a little bit um but those are already trending up money at 925k is crazy crazy high malin at 47 yeah some of these informs are very high not really investable but some of them still have a chance to be investable and good for thursday flips but again i think the focus this week again is going to be on some of those guys that are in like the 20 to 70 or 80K range. Willian is one of my favorites. I mean, 10,000, 12,000 coins. This guy's actually dropped a decent amount. Um, I think he's like 13K, yeah? 13K for a Brazilian right winger. Very good stats. Um, you know, a very good starter team right wing card. And if you're, on, if you're building like a 70 or 80K team, this guy's probably in your team. 100k team he's probably in the team as well and that's still there's a lot of people in fifa that are operating on those smaller budgets um he might have taken a little bit of a hit this week because of the walcott sbc and that's something that you can factor into your team of the to your thursday flipping investing is this sbc right here i think there are some people that are doing it i'm just not sure how much people are doing or how many people are doing this sbc I think it's a little bit crazy to do spending 130, 150K on an untradeable card at this stage of the game. I'm not a fan of it, but some people are doing it. So that's a possible area to invest for Thursday flipping as well. Maybe some link investments to him, Vardy, Rashford, Deli Ali, maybe uh, Trent Alexander Arnold at right back, stuff like that. You could uh, link investments uh, to that card could be a look as well. But again, just focus on the meta. Focus on the Premier League or some La Liga players as well, probably. Maybe some Bundesliga. Um, and then look at the French guys. Those French center back situation and French goalkeepers. Hugo Lloris could be a good opportunity as well. Um, if you have any questions on specific Thursday flips that could be good or not, drop them down in the comments down below. I would love to help you out and possibly steer you in the right direction if I could. Obviously, I can't get to everybody's comment, but I'll get to as many as I possibly can. If this video helped you out and you think you're going to be set for Thursday flipping, make sure to hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's make some freaking coins this week, baby. Thursday flipping, let's go, all right? All right, boys. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.